think it's quite an important project. We have now shown already that uh, we are serious about South Africa, so we've opened uh, an office already. Uh, this is one of the projects that will now propel us to the next phase of our growth so that we are taken as a serious player in South Africa. It's concentrated solar, um, uh, which means that we are able to store um, energy and we are then able to dispatch it as and when required, particularly at times when uh, you need it the most, which is mainly late afternoons and early evenings. It starts off with, uh, with the sun, uh, that gets concentrated on, on a parabolic uh, trough, which is basically the curved mirrors. They, they're quite tall, approximately six meters in height from natural ground level. Um, it, it's concentrated heat, so from there it then uh, it's reflected onto a, a tube, and that tube uh, basically carries a heat transfer fluid. Uh, it, you know, the heat transfer fluid heats up, gets heated up up to about 500 degrees Celsius. It's then trans transmitted from the solar field, which is, covers an area of about 400 hectares. Uh, it goes onto uh, a power block, which has a steam generation system. So from the heat, uh, we are then able to, 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 to get some steam, and the steam then drives the turbine, the turbine drives the, the, the generator, and then that becomes a normal electricity generation system. Once the uh, the generation has taken place, we are then able to store part of that heat in, uh, in a tank uh, and that tank is full of molten salts. Um, again, that tank is able to store up to about 500 degrees Celsius in terms of temperature. We are then able to release the heat out of that um, when the sun has gone down. The Katu Solar Park power project is a 100 megawatts project and the total investment cost is roughly in the order of 9 billion rand. The site is four kilometers by two kilometers and half of it is covered by these solar fields. NG has been in South Africa for about nine years now and we have every intention of continuing to develop power projects in this country. I think the South African government has recognized that they need a diversified energy mix. They've also acknowledged that they need independent power producers to be part of the energy mix for the country. And NG certainly wants to be a player in that field and we want to be a leading IPP in this country. The renewable program that has been run by the IPP office has been a tremendous success, both here and recognized as a tremendous success globally. We have submitted a few projects under the expedited bid window and we're hoping to have some news on our success in that round sometime soon. There will be a 28-month construction period uh, during which time there would be a at its peak, somewhere between 1,200 to 1,500 people employed on the site. And the construction sort of period will encompass the solar fields that we're talking about and the power block that will come on. That will take 28 months. At the end of the 28 months, there will be a testing period, at which point we will then declare commercial operation. And then the plant will continue to operate for a 20-year period.